Thomas. We've got the Pentacontinental Super Bantamweight Championship on the line. Leonard, very intelligent kid who is going to the university in Mexico. WBA former Bantamweight champion who says I'm bigger, stronger, and can hit harder than any. Caesar's Palace along with Budweiser, the undisputed king of beers. 19 wins, two losses, 16 wins coming by way of knockout. 33 wins, no losses. Eddie Cook. Antonio Barrera. Okay, let's go. Short and to the point. We'll check the tail of the 12. There's the bell, and up they come. Fast Eddie Cook. He's and 23 knockouts. Tom, I'm expecting five. Talks above a very low, soft monogear, or is he a public figure in Mexico? He's an uh, up and coming. A Bantamweight champion of the world. He won the title back in 1992 and marked a winner and a loser in the same year of the world championship. Half inches. Cook. Beautiful shot by Barrera, and Cook isn't. Cook got nailed with a solid left hand. I was in hand by Barrera, and Cook is in trouble again. Barrera is open for that right. Barrera knew this. There's the bell. Barrera started out. I don't know, but what this is going. Joining us at ringside, super middleweight champion Roy Jones Jr. went a magnificent, like a man intent on business. He's had too much for lights out. The champions with us, congratulations. But it never happened, so it did turn out pretty easy. And I thought it was. Up to 168 was no problem for you. Would you fight? Uh, I don't really care about holding half a dozen titles, so it's just that uh, I like the fighter that I ever got a chance to visually view while he was alive from him, then defeated him again. Right. And when I was a kid, I thought, I mean, that's who I picked. Excuse me, Eddie Cook having a little better time of it here in the second round. This is round number three, scheduled for 12. You're watching Fast Eddie. Round number three, and they're scheduled for 12. Joining us at ringside also is Roy and his future very much in front of him. Tom Pereira looks as though he's found. In fact, I thought he might be in danger of going down, maybe. When we talked to him, he can adjust a little more in the ring, and he's showing a little. Yeah, like right there. A oh, good body shot by Cook, though. The record like that, you know he's bringing something to the table. Keep in mind that this... Very lucky to come out here with a decision without getting stopped, because this guy's going over. He's uh, very poised. You know, Roy, and that brings me to mind of your fight with uh, with Tony. So but... this round coming to a close. We'll be back with more. For... I mean, you just basically went out there and attended to business. Right. Back here at Caesars Palace, the sports pavilion, out they come for round... But he still has to be very careful. Indeed he does. Barrera... So I think... That's probably one of the harder punchers Barrett. Vince Phillips took care of business in our previous bout. Right, Vince looked very good to being laid off for so long. This shot by Cook. And Cook is coming on point now. He's looking a lot. Round four. Minute 30 remaining, and this the fourth round. One of boxing's great fighters and great things. Look for something to get back in the gym and work on. You know. They promoter uh, necessarily to, to continue to promote you one way. Or Boxing fans hope that you and your father get back together again, Roy. And all of a sudden, he finds himself in trouble as the round is coming. Round number five, it's scheduled for 12. Uh, Fast Eddie Cook in the hall. Very strong heart, strong will, and strong uh, sense of determination. One another now, Barrera and Cook. Now that's a slug. I don't think Carlos Padilla saw that one. Left hand down in the liver. Well, I just hope he's careful and not, not hurt by this guy, because this guy's throwing some good shots. And he moved right in and threw punches in response. But probably did, knew not to take Cook light, lightly, but um, Cook needs to go to his body a little right now. Cook will do good. Boy, Cook it. Works his body. Cook has something here. Bell. That's the end of round. Control some of the puffiness under both eyes. Results of a heavyweight from Ventura, the carpenter from Ventura. Out they come for round number. Be a slugfest, and we got the war in that last round that we expected. Anybody's card has certainly answered and responded. Neil Barrera undefeated, 33 and 0. Coming on. I think towards the end of the round, it was just basically the, the work. Nice solid jab by Barrera. Naturally, he has the backing of a lot of fans, and there was a lot of noise. You know, he's won, you know, he rarely loses a round. And... Yes, he has tasted the leather and tasted the power of Eddie Cook. Night written all over it. Barrera just watched it whistle by. Barrera with Cook against the rope, pops that jab at him. Cook back for round seven right after this. Fernando.
has him up by two after six. Did you put him? What division? Bantamweight, Super Bantam, what? She Blue, former Bantamweight champion. A baby face. He used to be the NABF uh, super flight. Teeter, 25. That would be tiring as time uh, progressed. You would think. Cook grabbed the head of Barrera, pulled it down, and punched with. Nice body shots by Barrera. Cook. Half a minute remaining. They seem to be Fernando as round up. Taking a moment here, and now the bell brings him out for round number eight. Did I tough fight for both men? You know, felt certainly shows the effects of some solid shots. And kid, and I mean, it didn't seem like phony bravado either. He had all the confidence. Expression. Never. Oh, Barrera thought he got hit low. Been in with. Cook backs him up. Has him against him. Hit some solid shots to the chin right in this round and hasn't. Hooks to the body and bring it up to the jaw. A solid. Barrera's on him. Jumping all over him with that punch. Why he then opened up the floodgates of flurry. Having trouble. Bang. That right hand. And from that point on. Little wild right there. Cook though couldn't do anything to tie up Barrera. And that was round number eight. That's his 34th without a loss. This guy opened the floodgates and swarmed all over the former Bantamweight champion. Marco Antonio Barrera. Four knockouts with a barrage of punches that Cook could not withstand. He intervened and didn't let me finish the mío until I could get my distance. Let's see it again. We're going to see it again. I felt it tied and I threw it. And as a tribute to a worthy opponent, Marco Antonio Barrera 